Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adyne mod. We're on the last two two-player maps, the Withered Heath and the Woods of Lothlorien. I'm going to start on the Withered Heath as a random faction, playing as in Lardris. Oh, <laughs> that kind of goes against what I wanted to do in the Woods of Lothlorien, but you know what? It's good. Not played Loth in Lardris in a while, uh, in a video at least. So it'll be good to go back to that. So for those that haven't, um, that are quite new to the channel again, haven't seen me play in Lardris a lot, uh, should know that this is probably my most well-developed faction. I've got the, the uh, a strategy that works 90% of the time. There's very, there's very few times where it doesn't work. And I'm just going to show it off again, because why not? Why ruin a good thing? Now you can see by the dragon bones here, there be dragons in the Withered Heath. Which you might think is a bit terrifying, because dragons, it, well the drakes at least in uh, Balfour Middle Earth 2 Vanilla, were quite devastating and had very few weaknesses. But the biggest weakness to the Fire Drakes in this, the current Edine version is actually heroes. Just entities with large health pools. Because they, they just do straight up damage. And if you've got low health spam infantry, they're not going to last very long and they're not going to do enough damage to deal with them. Which, to be fair, being a Mladris, you could actually probably fight a Fire Drake and come out of it. Not completely dead. <laughs> so, not seeing the enemy yet. They're probably just over the horizon. I see some goblins. I'm going to take them out. We're against Mordor. Okay. This could be interesting. So, Mordor early game doesn't stand much of a chance against my uh, Imlarger style. Because all I do is make the Blade Masters, which are the new starting unit for um, Imlargers for those that have not played this faction since they were first released. Originally, it was the Swordsman that was your starting unit, and the Blade Masters was your Tier 2 unit. You needed to um, do some researching to get your level 2 uh, barracks. Now, however, they've been made your base unit, and it's probably safe to say that they are the strongest starting unit in the game. Compared to Mordor Orcs, Rohan Peasants uh, Undrafted, Gondor Soldiers... Uh, which, if they use block formation, just makes it even easier to kill. Oh, they've built Doggledore, though. That's going to make things difficult. Doggledore, Orcs, deal poison damage. Which means every attack they do, they're going to slowly chip away at our health bar, no matter how much damage they actually do with their hits. They can hit us for one damage, and the poison then tick for 20 health, and that is more than an ordinary Orc would be capable of. So yes, we're probably going to want to get either Arwen early on, so she can use the, the banner that self-heals around us, or build a pavilion of tranquility at our fortress and use that as our uh, den of protection. Let's get another, a unit of pikemen, so we can deal with that troll up there. More Doggledor orcs have ar arisen. Let's take them out. And now the library has been built. It has to be. It has to be said. Lothlorien, uh, not Lothlorien. Imlardus has the most amount of text that needs to be re researched. But once you've made made them all, well, you, well, well, firstly, you shouldn't make them all. You should prioritize one or two of them. I always prioritize economy, so agricultural studies and blacksmithing studies are my gets because I always go regular forges in the base, and all settlement buildings are affected by the agricultural studies. But so, but more so do do the um, Hobbit farms get affected by it because it gives you uh, extra Dunedain to protect the Hobbit farms. Hobbit farms are one of the few settlement buildings that have natural defences surrounding them, other than uh, say the Wolf Den for Angmar. But the Wolf Den only. Offers the way of recruiting the direwolves and has that extra protection. It doesn't actually produce resources. It's in fact one of the few 
settlement buildings that doesn't produce resources anymore. Oh, come on. Just run into me. There we go. Rivendell Pike uh, revenge damage is off the charts. I'm just going to throw this down. Didn't think we had anything missing, but we might as well be full health. Because again, that poison damage, if we allow it to tick away our life, we are going to lose. I don't want to lose. Especially not as my best faction. I said our Florian has now become my second best faction just because of how much I've been playing them recently. And then have to be Mordor. Mordor will always be in my top three. I remember being in the um, the evil campaign. You could pick up some gold here. It's like uh, 5,000 gold. But then a fire drake would come down and just start attacking you. Even the Nazgul on the map of Sauron didn't stand a chance against it. Um, now, I do want Arwen. But we're against Mordor. So I do want the twins. Because the hero spam it will be big. And all the Nazgul, once they get their upgrades... With their armor are dangerous to fight unprepared. So I'm just gonna keep building hobbit farms everywhere. I know where they built Doggle Door, it's right in the center of the map. There's only one, there's only uh, the center outpost, and then the two outposts on the side protected by fire drakes. They have a Nazgul on a horse, no less, which means I want my pikes to engage if possible, but not on their terms. They're coming at me with numbers and archers. I want them coming to me. And I'm going to build a pavilion of tranquility in preparation for their arrival. Yep. AI still following us. Going to surround the Nazgul and try and take it down. Oh, were, those, those weren't archers. Those were just... Uh... Wait, are, they, are there archers? Yes, there are. Dogledore archers nonetheless. Oh, my pipe's taking too much damage. Get them out. I'm gonna get the Breeze of Monway to knock down all these enemies, prevent them from killing off our pikes. Kamor got knocked down, so did the archers, and then they got executed. Oh, well, we're getting surrounded. We do need to fall back to the pavilion. Raise the pavilion. Get me more elves. Get me faster recruitment speed. Uh, Erister. Ooh, the poison subsided on the pikes. They might be able to get escape and heal. Yep. That's another reason to get the pavilion. The reinforcement's power gives instant replenishment. Now, compared to what it used to. Uh, we should be able to hold this. Dunedain and Hobbit protecting the Hobbit farm means that basic orcs don't stand a chance. Uh, Mafasan on his horse. I want to engage with both the twins and my pikes. But we're having trouble actually getting in, so unfortunately just use the power on the twins. That's fine. Let's get the archers to come up closer and shoot them down. Because yeah, without either cavalry or um, a way to reach them, those archers are too dangerous. Yeah, thankfully, Map of Sound doesn't have much tramp in the way of damage. Uh, let's get the banner carriers and a pantry so we can get our troops. And then the Agricultural Studies, Tier 2. There is the Dark Marshal. He is actually... If the AI knew how to use their abilities, they'd be very dangerous with um, the Dark Marshal. Because they, because the Dark Marshal's final ability allows him to strip away the armor of all u uh, enemy units. Well, actually, not, not all enemy units, all units. Making it so you can die in one hit. Those Castellans as well. Are actually the perfect counter to our largest infantry. I want to make sure that I just beat them to death with rocks. And have them fight some orcs from range. Just have them do the dirty work for a bit. Did we lose the farm? We did not lose the farm. The farm is still standing. That is a good sign. A good sign of things to come. And let's just fall back and heal. No need to force ourselves into a confrontation. And we have a power to use. And yet those Kirifungal or archers are getting beaten with stones as they deserve. As they deserve to get beaten up by stones. Yep, those orcs are those orcs just going to walk into the base and die. Let's get Arwen. 
there we go, the hobbits are gone. Now it's back to us. The hobbits have saved us, and now it's our time to save the hobbits and their farms. And yeah, aiming for destroying that Dogledore fortress would definitely help. Would definitely help. Oh, that's the first troll. First troll, troll -a -lol, -a lol That's not good. We've only got one unit of pikes, and... You duped me. That troll just duped me. How dare you. Critical strike, even though it only really works on heroes. Castellans have got that health bars. So I want twins to execute them quickly. Yeah, look at that. They're killing these elves. Ooh. That was bad. Okay, we've got extra pikes. Good. Erister, I want you to go into one of our... Forges. We can start getting upgrades soon. There's another Nazgul, the Shadow Lord. Looks like they've just come up from the north, which means they killed the Drake over there. And yeah, the Shadow Lord's taken a bit of damage, which tells me that that is the case. Just charge in. Don't give them any chances. Get Bannerkaiser for everyone. Uh, the twins, what's killing you? Oh, right, the Shadow Lord's not been killed yet. Surround him. Kill him. Arwen, heal your brothers. Get your armor. Oh, that's a large army. Uh, Blade Masters, I want you to come round. Okay, no, I don't. I want you to all retreat. We're falling back. And last second, turn the pikes around. Oh, that did not work in my favour. So they that has meant our unit got clumped up and didn't kill the troll instantly, but we killed it now. Fall back. Run back as far as your legs can take you, my elves. Yeah, Mordor when they get an outpost becomes a completely different beast. We do not want to be fighting them on the open field while we've not got any upgrades. We need, to be get, we need to be pushing ourselves to the maximum. Pushing ourselves above and beyond. We'll come for this. I'll take, this, take their strength away from them. Go, we've got one more unit of spearmen. Blade masters even. Keep throwing down those towers to defend. Get advanced blacksmithing. I, mm, I would originally would want to, um, in this situation, uh, get rid of the settlement and build a Linden Watchtower, get Kurdan. But I think right now what we need is just to not... Try anything uh, uh, too difficult. We want to focus on what we can get. Let's get Tom Bombadil. Let's get the Last Alliance and make a push for Dogledore. That's our aim. Heal up. Armin can now use her Life of Even Star in a desperate situation. That is, this is currently not a desperate situation. So expand the storeroom. Get a Regium Blades. Flash Forge Blades, they're both the same. Okay, this is the time to use like the Even Starters to get rid of that troll. Oh, we killed it off before we got time to use it. Let's summon Tom Bombadil. They've got Minas Morgul as well. Okay, they've got another hub, hub of recruitment. This this right here, absolutely fine. They, they, can they can take a long time before they can destroy that building, that base. And use that to my advantage and just keep pushing. The only things the orc have over, orcs have over us is numbers. And even then, their numbers are dwindling. But we are the Noldor. We 
not surrender to this scum. Oh, they've got Morgul Riders now. That's a problem. Come on. I want to use Mirror Ball quickly. Nice. Big heal. Big heal. But we're losing a lot. Losing a lot. We're losing too much. So those Morgul Riders die. So they don't trample. Everyone. Okay. Time to use Bombadil, I think. Get rid of those archers in the back. Bombadil. And then send him over there. Can we kill that troll? Uh, no, the troll killed us too quickly. More Castellans. Armin's almost dead. That's not good. Armin's the last thing I want to lose. You keep making a perfect combination of... Pikes and spear uh, blade masters. Although right now I could start getting swordsmen. Now nah, it's another nine hundred. I don't want to spend right now. That bomb will keep causing havoc on their back line. Get rid of those orcs. Yeah, we're doing well. We've got four power points, two last alliance. Uh, six more to go. Oh, we're not out of the woods yet, though. If I could get Elrond, a lot of things could be different. Because he can clear orcs like a, cut, using a knife to cut through hot butter. Let's take it slow and steady. Let's not overreach and lose everything. <laughs> That's the worst thing to happen, is we overreach and we lose everything. The AI isn't overly focused on actually destroying these layers, just killing the things protecting them. Which will work to my favour. First things first, full elite Elven army must be made if we stand a chance. If we want to stand a chance, we've got to get full power. And the amount of archers they've been spamming recently, it does make it difficult to get reach full power. Because their archers are what is going to counter us in the end. Let's throw down the Mirror of War. doing more pikes but for now just keep getting upgrades for everyone faster attack speed more damage more armor will make a big difference against the chaff but their elite units we're only going to have a slight reprieve they're going to hurt a lot and i think this pavilion might have to yeah the pavilion can go now because i can place the banner of elendil upon one of our elves Units, which means that they now have self-healing. On out of combat. So, so we don't need the pavilion's light. We can get another forge. Operational. We lost a hobbit farm down there. Well, I think this is the best time to get a linen watchtower, if any. Because Kurdan is another good hero. That will make a difference. Seven power points. We could get the uh, influence of the evening star. But I think right now we just need to get last alliance. In a case that we lose our entire army to just orc spam. And by the way, this is Mordor not using a single power. And this is how much they're, they're, they're threatening my Imladris. I keep saying Imladris is not that good against Mordor. I'm not joking. Mordor has so much that counters in uh, most Imladris gameplay. Let's 
At least my end largest gameplay. But I've built counters to the counter. So it's fine. We all fully upgraded? Not quite. Now we are. Here comes a troll and a lot of archers. Damn, I'd rather say my elves can't be feared, but nope, they totally can. They're not quite fearless yet. But neither of those orcs. We can use that chance now to escape. Get Kurdan. And consider getting more pikes. One more unit of pikes. That'll make three. It's a good number. But now I think I'm going to want some archers after that. To compensate with fighting all those archers and monsters, we need uh, archers of our own. Archers or more summons? One, one of the two. Gather round. Okay, get military studies so I can get my archers prepared. Yeah, hobbits, despite being hobbits, are really good at fighting off orcs. They're good bodies to just uh, use as pin cushions in a way. Can be can be seen as a bit saddening, but again, they are only summons. I'll use them for as long as I can. And now we have the last alliance. We have the last alliance of men and elves. Conquer our foes. They're bringing up far too much. <laughs> Retreat. We must flee. Flee to the banner of Elendil. Damn it, where are those pikes? I'll make, make sure they all have armour. Okay, what unit needs healing next? You do. Another banner of Elendil. Another full unit with regen. Okay, time for our first unit of archers. Get some extra damage in here. Yeah, look at that. Spamming archers from all over the Mordor. Okay, I'm going to get uh, Gildor to get rid of that double door. Actually, no. I'm going to get rid of the Minas Morgul up in the north. How do I know it's in the north? It's just a hunch. It's just a hunch on the fact that they... Uh, I did see them once come down from there. It could be in the south as well. But I'm putting my money on the north. Yep. But now I can't use it on here. I need to wait till that power comes back offline. Online even. And use it in a fully open space. Or use it in the centre and get, get the Junodyne encampment built. Got to use that heal. We're taking too much damage to not want to use the heal. And soon get some more archers. And we'll soon have gold fawn arrows as well. So we can have beautiful golden trails. Shooting from afar. Let's see if I can get Gildor over there. They might have built it up. But it looks like they haven't. So I'm going to build it up again. Off that other building as well. That's fine. I can try and get that back as well. Get some more archers. 
Gold spawns are almost ready. Hobbit farm. Okay, I'm going to throw down last alliance here so it can aid me if anything arrives. But I do want Gilgalad to use all of his power on Dolbledore. This should be pretty close to an instant kill move on Dolbledore. Let's test it. Yeah, that's an instant kill move. Not, I mean, 90% 90, 90 instant kill is still an instant kill, right? <laughs> Gildor, keep acting as my scout. Anarion, Isildur, Elendil. He's got 1,200 from destroying that outpost. That's brilliant. That's why this power is so good. It offers so much more than you think. But a Dunedain outpost. Shall hold this land from all evil. Oh, guild up, get back. Hobbit farm. Last two pantries. Gold fawn arrows. Enchanted Aregian Arrows. And look at that push. Look at the value that one power gave us. It actually gave us the ability to fight back. It's really good. Really, really... Oh, troll, troll, troll! Troll in the middle of my army and it's gone. Good. Good, good. Seven power points. Let's get Influence of the Evening Star now. Just so we can get down the extra levels. Doesn't, doesn't really need them, but I can make use of them somehow. Uh, need those other Regian arrows. I believe the Regian arrows, once they've been purchased, yeah, increase the attack of all ally units in the area of impact. So if you use that with our army of go on, Gildor, that's how it's done. Something from building anything. Take from them everything. Give to them nothing. Use another heal. Always use that heal off cooldown. That's my philosophy. Uh, Eris, they'll get off there and go into there. Build a medic tent. And where are they going? Straight for the base. They're going to die. Oh my god. I'm getting so much value out of Gildor. Mad, and they haven't built this yet. They've only now recently destroyed the fire drake lair. Oh, oh, that's some spicy knowledge to learn. But it's also pretty terrifying that uh, I need to get Tom Bombadil in here to deal with that uh, troll. That breeze might knock the troll down again. Nope, I don't think the breeze works on trolls anyway. There goes Minas Morgul. That's another outpost for us, which I'm just going to build another. Uh, Dunedain outpost because it defends itself it's valuable and it's cheaper and I don't like basic outposts for enlargers, it looks a bit derpy in my opinion okay we're coming back we're gonna do it I'm kind of disappointed myself I always, always forget to get Elrond I mean, he's the faction leader, and I never seem to ever want to use him. Just because the games never get to the point where I have that much money in the bank. I'm always spending it on units. And research, because everything is so expensive for Imladris. With good purpose, if it weren't, it'd be too easy. So it was, it, There was a point where Imladris was just so overpowered. They had to get nerfed a little bit. Is that killing the or orcs? No. That's fine. Build that tent. A tower even. Tower on the tent. The tent tower. Okay, Bombadil's time is done. But our time here is not. We shall not depart these lands. We shall fight for them. 
and soon get the Veteran Velas Alliance. And I'd rather get all three of them than I would uh, Elrond. Sorry, Elrond. Sorry, Lee Pace, or whatever your actor is in the Rings of Power, I can't remember. Not Lee Pace, that's Branduil. God, I'm, I'm terrible today. And they built another Minas Morgul in the south. I have eyes here everywhere. Get more economy spiraling out of control over there. Get my veterans recruited. Get those command points back up to their total. And one other power we want to get before we get the power of the firstborn, which we don't really need because we've already got the full army. We're going to get the wisdom of the sanctuary of knowledge. Now we get extra uh, experience for all our units and cooldown reduction for their abilities. That's two units and final unit. Come up, there we go. Good, I'm going to sit here. Oh, look at them coming up with trolls and such. Yeah, no, that trolls are coming going nowhere. Goodbye. And there's orcs even less. If you're looking a bit too focused, have him fall back for a bit. Oh, troll, troll, kill the troll. Punish the false god. Get me Sanctuary of Knowledge. There's Noldor going to get a bunch of experience. Our veterans even. Oh, no experience from there apparently. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Been down outpost built. Building that settlement as well. The AI never got to build him because they only just recently destroyed the fire drake. While they were fighting me, by the way. They spent all the... They, they had half... They had a good bit of resources fighting that fire drake over here. If they had invested their time fully on me, yeah, they wouldn't have an extra outpost. But they definitely would have made me run for the hills. Uh, can I get Elrond still, or is he too many command points? Too many. Okay, then we'll get Halberad. Get the man they call Halberad. Please stop the troll. Please stop the troll. Please stop the troll. I don't want to build this again. <gasps> oh, oh, clenching it. That was, that was close. That was too close. I didn't like that. That hurt. Everything hurts. We're not out of the woods yet, though. I could use um, his song, but, you know, copyright, so no. Extra armor for buildings, yes! Make it glow even brighter in this snow. Our units have taken next to no damage other than Gildor. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're in the clear now. Right, another strategy with um, Enlarge is, is to go more Dunedine focused. But that's better against factions that don't like spam. You'd want that against factions that don't... You'd want the Dunedine specifically for early archers. Because they're cheaper with all the Hobbit farms you can make. Against factions that don't have cavalry. So early game uh, and even late game in uh, Lothlorien and Angmar. Are the two factions to go against. At least in verse AI. I imagine PvP, um, Angmar would be a bit more difficult, but Lothlorien could still be manageable with fire arrows if you get Halbrad level up quick enough. Get Halbrad to level 5, get a bunch of Dunedine Rangers with uh, fire arrows. Just burn the Ents away. Oh, I wish I had more command points. Can I feed one of my units into uh, this outpost? I cannot. Then we're stuck with what we've got. 
Can't get Elrond. That's a shame. Unless they kill us, which, again, very unlikely because they don't use their powers. But to be fair, most of Mordor's powers are supplementary. It's, it's Sauron that's the main benefactor for Mordor. The powers just kind of aid Sauron to do what he can do best. Break minds. Get rid of that drum patrol before he even thinks of doing that beat. Although if our unit's so high level, I doubt that would have worked on us. If they succeeded. However, get in there. Get into the melee. You can do it. We'll get Lufian's song, but again, copyright, so no. Same with using Journey to Valinor. <laughs> copyright. Kind of if I'm if I'm not talking very loudly over it, it could be copyright. So you know. Gotta keep that hush hush. Just use it to get the power I wanted and then not look at it again. The coup de grace. Don't remember what it does. Oh, it has you done a hero. Boo! Hero specific powers. Boo! Omni units should be level 5 soon once we kill this troll. Yeah, that was a big experience leap. Uh, Takes you to the Bruin end. Can't really use it unless I use the Journey to Valinor power to defeat this base. But hey, we don't need it to win. I just want it to uh, fill out the poster board that we've got. There we go. Heal up Gildor to almost his full health with one influence of the Evening Star. Uh, Arwen's purity, even. She's a purity woman. A Puritan. What's his ability to do it again? Enemy shot by archers lose speed and damage for 5 seconds. Okay, so it's similar to the Merkel archers that make the enemy lose speed. I should really use these archers more often. <laughs> I should really use them more often. They're really good. Another 5 power brand. If we had the ability to recruit more Dunedain, I would. And I could give them full upgrades. Oh, we can almost get Last Alliance again. That would be a good way to, uh, to send it off. But hey, we've got Bombadil for now. That'll, that'll do. Bombadillo! That's an orc unit dead. Everyone get extra armor. Get extra armor to the building, because why not? I can now recruit Elrond with 10k gold in the bank. Again, do not often get a bunch of gold as uh, enlargers, because I'm always spending it. Uh, use that, use that. Put it as an auto acquire, I guess. Destroy those archers. Nice. Last line is almost ready, but I think we, it's safe to say we've won this now. The AI stands no chance. Give another banner of uh, Elendil. I think that works. Or it didn't. I don't know. Not paying too much attention to it at the moment. Use Middle Earth's last line defense. Extra damage, extra armor, extra bullshit. Why not? Show them the power of the Noldor. And we get to see Elrond one, last, uh, one little bit before we get it. Let's get Lufian's song now we've got the power points for her. Don't use it, just say we did it. Elrond arrived just at the very end. Look at that. Level 6 uh, veterans over there. Level 2 and level 2 over there. That's disappointing. The shadow has been turned back. And victory! The Withered Heath is completed. And another thing about the Withered Heath is an extremely difficult map. Yes. It can actually, if the AI has a good run over you, you can just get stuck in your base and lose. I'm lucky I was not against a faction that could spam Siege. We would have been in trouble. I would have needed Cav. Hope you've all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Farewell.